Earth is the only planet in our solar system with the largest confirmed surface ocean. They cover over 71% of the Earth's surface and are integral to all forms of life found on this planet. The very point where life first emerged. They provide us the very air, the oxygen we breathe, the water we drink, and importantly, the food we eat. In a world of increasing population, where production of inner food poses new challenges, the fishing industry plays a vital role and significantly contributes to food production and the livelihood of over 500 million people in developing countries. Since independence, fish production in India has increased tenfold, making it a major supplier of fish in the world. In order to improve the marine fishing sector, the Government of India has framed various developmental programs to increase marine fish production of the country and thereby to improve the standard of living of fishermen. Upgradation of knowledge and skill enhancements in modern technologies of fishing, navigation and marine engineering through training is vital to equip the marine fishing sector of our country for sustainable growth. Central Institute of Fisheries, Nautical and Engineering Training, SIFNET. The Arsboil Central Institute of Fisheries Operative, headquartered at Commercial Center of God's Own Country, Kerala, Cochin, was established in the year 1963 to meet the trained manpower needs of ocean going fishing vessels and that of fishing industry. After the independence, when motorization and mechanization of fishing vessels were started, the need for organized training for the personnel meant for fishing vessels were felt. The skippers and engineers of deep sea fishing vessels and highly trained personnel were required several years of training and experience to qualify for the respective competency certificates. Considering the importance of the specialized training, Government of India in the year 1959 constituted a committee on fisheries education for assessing the manpower requirement and suggest measures for provide trained manpower for boosting the fisheries development activities. As a result, Central Institute of Fisheries Operative was established under the Ministry of Food and Agriculture in July 1963. Besides creating complete, competent technical manpower, on the deck and in inside for ocean going fleet, training to support shore establishment of fishing industry became an imperative part of the institute. In the year 1976, CIFO was renamed as Central Institute of Fisheries Nautical Engineering Training called as SIFNET. SIFNET headquarters is located in the heart of Cochin is housed in a permanent building complex of 5,730 square meters in a spacious site of 4.35 acres area with well-equipped training facilities in fisheries, nautical science and marine engineering. To increase the training capacity of the Institute and to diversify the activities to other places of the country, the Madras unit of SIFNET came into existence in the year 1968 as per the recommendation of the then Central Board of Fisheries, Government of India, in 1965. Presently, the Chennai unit of SIPNET is functioning in a permanent office complex of 2,903 square meters in 1.41 acres of land at Arayapuram. This unit is established to make the manpower for the fishing industry especially for the marine capture fisheries. This institution is established with the three divisions, namely the Marine Engineering Division, Fishery Technology Division, and Seamanship Navigation Division 
supported with an establishment section. Taking into account the anticipated developments of the marine fishing industry during six and seven five-year plan periods, another unit of SIFNET was established at Vishakhapatnam in 1981. The Vishakhapatnam unit is functioning from a spacious complex of 3,300 square meters built in a plot of 1.035 acres located in the front of Vishakhapatnam Fishing Harbor since 1981. We exclusively take care of the trading requirement of the coast adjoined to the Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, as well as Odisha. Even many of these candidates from Odisha, Nellore, at they have been coming to here for the various certain courses in this field, which we take care of their training requirement. SIFNET plays a pivotal role in shaping the blue revolution of the country by creating technical manpower for marine operation. SIFNET is the only national institute of its kind in India and one of the premier institutes in Asia which caters to the training requirements of technical and certified personnel to man the ocean-going fishing vessels and related establishments. Trade courses provided by the Institute are residential. Hence, to accommodate all the trainees, all three units of SIFNET have excellent hostel facilities. At the main campus SIFNET Kuchin, a new modern hostel facility inaugurated in the Golden Jubilee year of SIFNET in 2013 has all the facilities to accommodate 150 students at a time. During its inception, SIFNET started two trade courses, namely Fishing Secondhand Course and Engine Drivers Course, with an intake capacity of 100 trainees per year in 1984. The two courses were converted to 18 months mate fishing vessels course and engine driver fishing vessel courses. Abreast with the national developments, SIFNET also made efforts to upgrade the regular courses, its curriculum and training methods successfully. As a result, two regular trade courses of two years duration, namely Vessel Navigator and Marine Fitter, recognized by DGET and affiliated to NCBT has been started in 2006 in SIFNET. These two trade courses were started with a view of producing practical tradesmen in the marine sector and manpower for the deck side and engine side of the fishing vessel. The selection of students for trade courses is through an All India Entrance Examination and the students below 20 years of age and passed in 10 standard with 50% marks in maths and science are eligible to apply. SIFNET is providing monthly stipend to the trainees apart from the compulsory hostel accommodation by the Institute. The intake capacity is 16 each in vessel navigation and marine fitter course at three training centers, Kuchi, Chennai and Vishakhapatnam of SIFNET. Over the years, the marine fishing industry of the country has developed many fold. At present, the major share of fish production comes from the coastal waters and the only scope to increase marine fish production is extending the operation to the deep sea. Deep sea fishing requires larger resources, specific fishing vessels with sophisticated fishing technologies, qualified hands for navigating the vessels and professionals to ensure feasibility of operation and the maintenance of the quality of fish on board the vessel. In order to equip the sector with professionally qualified manpower, SIFNET has introduced a professional degree program, Bachelor of Fishery Science Nautical Science course, a four-year program at SIFNET Kochi. Affiliated to the Cochin University of Science and Technology, QSAT, the program has been able to nurture a new generation of experts in the field of fisheries and nautical science. The selection of the candidates for this course is through common entrance examination conducted by SIFNET at various centers of the country. The intake capacity is 22, out of which 20 are from open selection, one from NRI category and one from foreign nationals. 
the candidates coding BFSC NS degree from SIFNETS with required minimum C experience having basic modular course certificates are exempted from all written examination and post C courses. They can appear directly for the mate fishing vessel certificate, oral examination. They are also eligible for continuous discharge certificate, CDC. Swimming is an essential part of training at SIFNETS and all the students of this institute are provided training and practice in swimming under the guidance of a coach. A major strength in SIFNET is the availability of well-equipped deep-sea fishing training vessels at the three centers, namely MV Prashikshini in Cochin, MV Skipper 2 in Chennai and MV Tarangani in Vishakapatna. The overall length of the vessels ranges from 28 to 34 meters with horsepower ranging from 600 to 750 bhp. These vessels have an endurance capacity of 20, 10 and 15 days respectively. Practical training and various fishing techniques like tuna long lining, bottom trawling, midwater trawling etc. and navigating the vessel in the sea and operation and maintenance of marine engines at sea are provided through intensive onboard training throughout their study period. The institute also provides post-sea experience through training for the passed out students for appearing at competitive certificate examinations with MMD. The three major divisions of SIFNET are Fisheries Technology Division, Nautical Science Division, Marine Engineering Division. Fish and Technology Department at headquarters has uh, mainly three divisions. First one is uh, fishing gear division, second one is fishery biology and aquaculture division, fish processing and uh, microbiology section. Lot of students, teachers, scientists from various colleges and research institutes are frequently visiting in our departments. Fishing gear section. This section has excellent facilities in fishing gear hall in which around 40 students can do practicals at a given time. The section is also well equipped with efficient and experienced net makers and has excellent facilities for net fabrication repair of fishing gears of institute vessels. Live models of purse seining, gill netting, long lining and different types of trawling operations are main attractions of the section and imparting practical training to the students and visitors. The Fishery Biology and Aquaculture section. This section imparts theoretical and practical training in fish identification, biology of fishes, culture and breeding of freshwater fishes and maintenance of ornamental fishes. For hands-on training in aquaculture, Students are taken to farms attached with Krishi Vigyan Kendra and other national institutes. Fish Processing and Microbiology Section This section is well equipped with a fish processing lab and biochemistry. Microbiology labs are attached with Fishing Technology Division to conduct practical classes on seafood processing and quality evaluation. Nautical Science Division as technology advanced, so did the aspiration of man. Oceans were eventually conquered by the giant vessels called ships to ease the problems associated with transport of goods, material and personnel. Nautical science deals with the safe navigation of ships. SIFNET's Department of Nautical Science offers both theoretical and practical training in seamanship and navigation and constitutes well-equipped labs for imparting training in marine metrology, oceanography, seamanship and navigation. Excellent visual aids for onshore training. Spacious navigation hall for conducting chart practical and passage planning. The marine engineering department has well established marine workshop, boat building, engine room simulator sections and well-equipped laboratories of computer, heat engines, hydraulics, pneumatics, electrical and electronics technology to provide training on associated 
systems in marine engineering. The marine engineering division consists of the marine engineering workshop, electrical, electronics, boat building carpentry, and computer sections. This basically refers to the engineering of boats, ships, and other marine vessels and structures. This department is a well-established marine workshop, marine engineering, electrical, electronics, computer, heat engines, hydraulics, pneumatics and refrigeration laboratories, radio room for contacting the vessel, and engine room simulation to impart systematic practical training. It is specifically applying engineering sciences, mechanical marine engineering, electrical and electronics engineering to the development, design, operation and maintenance of onboard systems. All three units of SIFNET have well-equipped library facilities, an excellent collection of technical books and journals and various subjects related to the field. Reference facilities are also provided to the visiting scholars and students of various institutions from these libraries. In addition to the regular courses, the Institute also conducts shore mechanic course of 12 months duration for the benefit of personnel who handle shore establishments and operation and maintenance of engine equipments in deck side of the vessel of the fisheries organizations. The modular courses, namely Elementary Fishing Technology Course, Advanced Fishing Technology Course and Radar Observers Course, which are prerequisite for appearing at the competency examinations for mate and skipper with MMD, is continued in SIFNET. Short-term courses on marine mechanical engineering, fisheries and nautical disciplines are conducted exclusively for the benefit of fishermen, coast guard officials, students of various colleges, engineering colleges and universities, managers of fishing industry, fishing organization, personnel of financial institutions, etc. SIFNET organizes refresher courses for mate fishing vessel examination engine driver fishing vessel examination, skipper grade 2 examination, engineering fishing vessel examination to enable candidates to face examination with confidence and courage. Over the years, SIPNET has come out as a nodal institute in Southeast Asia for training the personnel of the fishing fleet and offering a special training in nautical fisheries and engineering disciplines. The Institute arranges special training programs for foreign nationals. SIFNET offers a five-day internship known as in-plant training during short-term courses to its students wherein practical and theoretical training is provided. Field visits and study tours are also conducted for the benefit of the students. Need-based training for the benefit of staff of sister organizations and college students continue to be a major thrust of the extension activities of SIFNET. The faculty members of the Institute are well qualified and have expertise in the area of fisheries, nautical and marine engineering. The classes are handled with modern teaching aids, live models and stimulators. Smart classrooms are equipped with multimedia, internet, overhead projector, interactive boards etc. Computer training is an integral part of all regular training programs of SIFNET. Students are also given chance to express their talents in sports, art and cultural events on various occasions during their academic period. Fully air-conditioned auditorium with comfortable seating arrangements and supporting facilities are also provided in SIFNET headquarters to conduct scientific, official and cultural events. SIFNETs, along with the courses, guide the students to various placement opportunities in governments, shipping, shore establishments, private companies, etc. Besides providing well-trained and skilled candidates to the fishing industry, SIFNET has played a major role in changing the face of the entire fishing industry. Working closely with the government, SIFNET has taken several developmental programs like popularization of new technologies for the fast-growing marine fishery sector, design several fishing gear for fishing in deeper waters, suitable for vessels of 100 
to 600 HP. In association with the government of Norway, the institute undertook a study called Energy Conservation Program for mechanized boats and traditional crafts to reduce infructious fuel expenditure. Conducted various fuel saving experiments as a joint venture with FAO of the United Nations and other national institutes. One of SIFNET's vital contributions to the Indian fishing industry is the introduction of ferro cement, a fishing boat constructed from steel and cement, substituting wood and steel. Rendering consultancy services, ICAR organizations like CMFRI and national institutes like NPOL. NIO and other private fishing industry in the selection of equipments, boats, as well as fulfilling their manpower requirements. For the dedicated services to the fishing industry, SIFNET has also garnered numerous awards and recognitions from all corners of the industry. As demands of the industry are becoming exceedingly ambitious, SIFNET has proposed to introduce new preparatory courses to fishermen to acquaint them with the latest modern technologies. Extension programs. Apart from training, SIFNET also provides employment guidance for post-institutional trainees and organizes various extension programs in operation and maintenance on outer board motor engines, safety manning practices, automatic identification system, AIS, etc. It also helps small boat owners to analyze and solve technical problems related to operation and maintenance of marine engines and electronic fish finding and navigational equipments. Over the years, SIFNET has grown beyond leaps and bounds to occupy a unique position, not only in the Indian scenario, but even in the world fisheries map, shaping the blue revolution of the country by creating technical manpower for the fishing industry.